Hey folks, so you may have seen or may not have seen the video uh, where I presented this particular kit, this model kit. Uh, it's an Aurora and uh, they made this one for the Canadian market from what I understand um, and was only in production for a very short time and is one of the holy grails of Aurora figure kit collecting. Um, they make reproduction boxes of this one. They make resin versions of the plastic of the kit. Uh, this is an original from the 60s and is all complete. I've checked the parts and pieces. It's all here, including the instructions. You can see the kit there is built on the uh, instructions. That's what the kit looks like. And, uh, yeah, it's quite scarce. Um, and what I found out was that the box is worth about a thousand dollars. So the box or the box and instructions alone, um, without the parts is worth a thousand dollars. Yeah, <laughs> quite a, uh, quite a valuable kit. Uh, it turns out the parts are worth about 2500 US. So just the parts alone are $2,500. So what I did was contacted Heritage Auctions in the US and asked whether they'd be interested in having it for one of their sales. So they said yes. So that's where it's headed is to auction. So we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll get more, maybe it'll get less than the 5,000 total that it, the whole kit is technically worth. I don't know. Um, the thing about these kits is there wasn't, hasn't been one complete one come to market for quite a while. There's been parts and pieces and boxes and such, uh, the odd box and the odd set of parts, but not a complete kit. So hopefully it'll go for, you know, that $5,000 Canadian mark. Uh, so I'm expecting, I think, about 3,500 US, which is equivalent to about five grand Canadian. So that's what I'm hoping. Um, kit cost me $60, so I don't have a lot into it. Um, it was at a show that uh, I bought it at, and that's what the fellow had on it. I happily paid that. So yeah, very good kit. I'm also consigning some pieces I've had for quite some time. Uh, I got from a clean out situation. Um, these are posters that would have been in the store uh, that uh, for the release date, you can see there 1967. So this one's for Lost in Space, the one-eyed monster. And there's one for James Bond, 007. And one for Odd Job. So they're all three are Canadian posters as well, and uh, all in English. But uh, I'm hoping they go well as well. <laughs> um, they should do quite well, considering that there just isn't any in existence. There's no comparisons at all for these posters that I can find anywhere. So hopefully they'll do well. Hopefully the kit will do well. And uh, I'll have some money to uh, tide me over during the winter. Anyway, so yeah, I thought you'd be interested in seeing that kit. Uh, like I said, very rare kit. Should be going to Heritage Auctions, I believe, in October. Um, I'll put up the auction date on the video here as well. So you can uh, see it there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing, picking, thrifting, scrapping, etc. Take care, folks.